Hi, this is Tristan Jakob Hoff, and uh, I'm here to talk about my new track, The Attack Commences. Uh, and I'm specifically going to be looking at some of the ways I've used Synchron Strings Pro, uh, with a particular focus on uh, some of the cool articulations I've used, and also the way that I've blended and stacked some of those articulations. Uh, but before we kick off, uh, here is the track. So as I said, there are uh, there are a few things I'd like to show you, um, specifically around the Synchron Strings Pro. Uh, the first thing to look at, I think, is going to be the uh, little opening motif, which is, I've been told, the James Horner danger motif. I'm pretty sure he got it from Rachmaninoff, but there you go. Um, so we'll just have a little look at that. This is uh, This is what it sounds like just by itself. So what we've got there is a combination of a few different articulations. Um, the one that I've mostly used here is called the Legato Espressivo patch. And what I really like about that is, uh, if I just make sure I've actually got the cello selected here, um, there's an actual little swell built into this patch. So if I uh, just hold down the note, quite atmospheric all by itself. Now I've actually enhanced that with a little bit of uh, CC1, as you can see here. And I finished off this phrase with uh, the Legato Agile patch. You can't really see it there. But it's a very, the Agile, The Agile Legato is really useful for those little notes that, uh, that you want to connect, but you don't want to have that sort of sharp uh, sting of a staccato. So uh, I've used those quite a lot in, in little places where they, they, I'll actually show you a little bit more when we get to uh, the viola motif uh, in the next section. Um, the other great thing in this uh, little opening 
something I really like is this portamento slide down to low C. Uh, and as you can see, I've just switched from a, a legato espressivo patch to a portamento patch there. And one of the things that's really great about VSL strings in general is that they uh, they match their legato uh, patches really well uh, between each other. So you very rarely have to fiddle around with um, expression or, or CC1 to make things match. Uh, so there I've just very smoothly gone from a, a espressivo patch to a portamento patch. Uh, the um, other nice little thing just at the end here, you can hear there is an example of a, uh, a crossfade patch. So you can hear there, there is a, uh, we're going from a lung to a tremolo. And the way that's controlled is through CC20. So I've just done a straight line here. And that is over in Vienna uh, Ensemble. You can have, have a little look at what that actually looks like. When this comes up, you can see the CC20 slide is actually going up. And that swaps between the, the patches. You can actually customize your own uh, combinations as well. But that one uh, comes pre-built, which is nice. Um, so that's it for the little opening. And just going over to the viola motif that sort of uh, begins the more energetic part of this. So if we go here, we can solo that viola and just have a little look at it in the uh, MIDI window. Now again, you can see I've used a combination of, in this case, a legato agile. So that gives you the nice little, um, a nice little flick, and then a staccato agile. And the advantage of using the staccato agile there is it's it's. Um, if I just go over to it uh, again, I've got to select this viola. You can actually hear the staccato agile has a really nice. It's just quite bouncy. It's a bit more bouncy than the regular staccato. So here, in combination with the uh, the agile legato, you get this. And a little bit later. So you're actually able to create really naturalistic sounding phrases like that. And that's something I really like uh, is that you can, uh, you know, it's, it's very uncommon in, um, in real orchestral music to have a single articulation that is being held for, you know, ages and ages and ages. It's quite common in epic music uh, to have maybe just a, a spiccato going uh, as a kind of motor rhythm for a very long time. But in a lot of motif based music, you will get these kind of combinations of a bit of legato with a bit of staccato as, as a kind of punctuation mark. And that's what's going on here. And I think it works really nicely uh, using the, uh, the Synchron Strings uh, Pro. So uh, moving on to uh, some layering techniques. So what's going on here? Now you'll see I've actually got three violins here and you will also see I've got th two cellos. I like to cheat a little bit when I'm doing mock-ups. Um, but in this case, what I'm actually doing is creating a combination of two different patches. So if I just play the violin one and the violin two two by themselves, you'll hear what I mean. So what those two instruments are providing is that crescendo. And what the middle violin is doing is giving us the nice little accents. And you'll see that I've actually, uh, if we have a look at, so this is using the uh, long vibrato, 
patch. But uh, if I head over to here again, you can see that I've um, I've actually used a a, um, a key switch to trigger this because uh, I don't have a uh, an expression map uh, setting for it. But um, you can see I've switched to the Mercato slash uh, Sforzando patch there. That's my little key switch there. So it gives that nice little edge. And what I'm doing there is I'm actually using expression. Very messy, I can see. But um, I'm using expression as a kind of way to fade between these two patches. So kind of just dies off at the same rate as these other ones are coming in. And there's all sorts of creative possibilities you can you can use just to create a little bit of extra edge at the beginning of a note like that. Um, but uh, you know you can use staccato notes if you wanted to do, to create something that's a little bit more uh, sudden. But uh, that's the way I've used it there, and uh, I think it works quite nicely. Um, so the next thing I'd like to have a look at is the agile spiccato. We'll stick with the violins for the moment. And we're actually just using these two, violins one and two. So if I just put them up in our MIDI window again, and you can see that we're using the Spiccato Agile patch. Now what's really cool about this is I've created a two note measured uh, tremolo, really. And they actually sound really good with the, uh, the Spiccato Agile. This is not something that many libraries excel at is this kind of uh, this kind of repeated note rhythm like this. Um, the other really nice thing here is uh, you can just make out if uh, I switch to violin two, violin one and violin two have the, exactly the same notes at the beginning here and one of the advantages of having a library with a first and a second violin is that you can stack those uh, those articulations across both players and you'll get a really nice blended sound. Idea. So that's really fun. Um, what I'm doing here as well uh, during this little section is I've put some staccato and spiccato uh, cellos and violas in the mix. So if we just uh, open that up again. One of the uh, one of the things I'm doing there, if we have a closer look at the cello, you'll see that the cello has got uh, is actually divided into three here. Again, this is this is a mock-up cheat. I would never do this if it was for a, an actual orchestra, but uh, you've got a little um, rhythm going on here. So uh, this uh, little motif at the top here. And I've actually doubled that in this case in the violas. So if you have a little uh, look at the violas, you'll see that they're doubling it, but they're using a short ponticello, the agile version of that. And the reason for that is it just adds a little bit of extra texture to the sound. Just a bit of extra grit. So again, that's another way of layering uh, different articulations and different instruments in order to get a, a really interesting sound. So finally, um, I'd like to have a little look at the very end of this piece, uh, which let's just play the strings alone.
so quite a mysterious ethereal sound and uh, I'll just talk about how that's created so I'm using a variety of different articulations here the first one to have a look at again I've done some layering so the first violin and the second second violin are actually playing the same thing here so this is what they're playing So it's a very nice sound that and uh, what I'm actually doing is in the first violins if we just have a look at the first violins now um, the first violins are just playing with a legato flotando But what I've done is layered that with second violins playing something a bit more interesting. So they're actually playing a molto vibrato uh, for a couple of notes and then a portamento and then back to molto vibrato. But although that would normally really stick out, what I've done here, as you can see with CC11, is just brought the, the level down quite a lot. And the net result of that is that when you put the two together, they have this sound. The other uh, articulations in this little uh, ending are here we've got the uh, uh, first second violins playing a flautando very subtle we've got some harmonics in the violas and probably my favorite is we've got harmonic tremolo in the cellos so that's uh, this articulation here tremolo harmonic that's a very cool sound you put that and the violas together they're playing different notes but it's a kind of stacked cluster effect And put those together again with the uh, with the other instruments, and you get this magical texture. So there's really all sorts of uh, possibilities, and uh, I mean one of the great things about uh, Synchron Strings Pro is the sheer number of articulations you have to work with. Uh, you'll see that from this list here, um, there's, you know, there's quite a number of articulations already, but I had to cut this list down to just the articulations used in this piece in order to be able to demonstrate this in a useful way. Uh, otherwise, there are just, there are dozens and dozens. I don't know how many there are, but there is a lot. Um, and there really are huge numbers of possibilities for you to make your own sounds uh, or to find some of the great sounds that are, are coming out of the box. <laughs>